Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be dissecting Taco Bell's Web of Fries, which is one of the most well-crafted commercials that I've seen. With Halo delayed, why not do something random? So, let's get into it. I have never actually tried Taco Bell, so this has nothing to do with their food. If you're here for that, eh, stick by anyway. But we are actually just reviewing the commercial. I don't even know if Nacho Fries are good or not, but maybe one day we'll try them. The purpose of this particular commercial is to get people interested about their nacho fries. Taco Bell displays them in a really creative way by filming a movie trailer, which the sole objective is getting nacho fries. What a perfect idea to suddenly get the message across while also slamming it straight into your face. This is a quick summary if you haven't recently watched the trailer since it is over two years old now. The trailer begins with our main character coming home from work. We'll call him Fry's Guy for obvious reasons. Fry's Guy has Taco Bell for dinner with his wife and daughter, when his daughter says that she wants fries. Fry's Guy wonders why Taco Bell has no fries and looks it up. As he does, an anonymous caller tells him not to look into this. At work, he is given a flash drive. In it is the original Nacho Fries commercial that they made when Nacho Fries originally came out. He meets a man who tells him that he has made someone very angry for trying to find the nacho fries. The business meeting discusses how to scare Fry's Guy off the case. At a carnival, Fry's Guy's daughter is given a fry with ketchup by a clown. This scares Fry's Guy, and he picks up his daughter, scanning the area for any more clowns. He meets again with that man, and learns that the nacho fries could ruin a company's fry monopoly. Fry's Guy goes to his special agent to explain what he has found, and gets mad when the agent won't listen to him. He becomes so wrapped up in the conspiracy, so much so that his wife kicks him out. Fry's guy wakes up to a co-worker telling him that he's in hot water. The trailer ends with a car chase as some clowns force Fry's guy's car into a lake. The car begins to fill and it cuts through a title card saying, Web of Fries. The last shot is of a normal TV ad displaying nacho fries from Taco Bell. Even in a 1 minute and 40 second ad, the entire plot can be found throughout the commercial. The burger people are hiding nacho fries away from the public. Fry's guy gets curious and learns the secret of the nacho fries, and that the burger people want to stop him before he reveals this to the world. The burger people go after his family at the carnival, making him paranoid. Fry's guy continues his crusade and goes to a special agent with no such luck. The burger people keep tormenting him as he becomes more and more addicted to solving this case. His wife sees how consumed he's become with nacho fries and kicks him out. Now our hero is alone. The burger people finally have enough with him, and now that Fry's guy is in a vulnerable state, they take him out without any fingerprints, without any witnesses. The car starts to sink, and Fry's guy's fate is unknown. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want to see that movie? It takes a classic action trailer and adds a self-aware product placement as the main focus. There's action, suspense, drama, and humor, all done for the sake of nacho fries. I have to give it some props for having it made with so much care, which isn't common anymore for ads. The commercial is not only a smart way to advertise nacho fries, but it also snuck little details in to further that message. In the first two seconds, Fries Guy is holding Taco Bell. The product isn't thrown in your face yet, but it's sub subtly given if you pay close enough attention. The ad from the flash drive has the words not for commercial use, showing how nacho fries are supposed to be secret, while also calling back to the first nacho fries ad, which is a nice touch. Now fast food is even referencing their other works. The rich people in the party shot all have fries with ketchup in their hands, showing how they are connected to the burger people. The meeting to take Fry's Guy down has footage of the previous shot in which the man tells Fry's Guy that someone is mad at him. The clown at the carnival goes from happy to upset after a person walks in front of them. Fry's Guy checks his dress shirts to find every single one has a red stain in the pocket. He pulls out an open ketchup packet, meaning this is another scare tactic from the burger people. The conspiracy board that Fry's Guy creates has a ton of little pictures of Taco Bell products. The car that takes Fry's Guy out is driven by clowns. With all this clown imagery, Taco Bell is really driving McDonald's as their main villain. Without even saying their name, Taco Bell is telling the viewer that McDonald's is bad and that they should buy nacho fries instead. That is some really 
clever marketing. The trailer also doesn't take itself seriously, which adds to its charm. There are a couple of nicely used fry-related puns, which reinstate that this is literally all about selling nacho fries. Nevertheless, it is still great. Fifteen seconds in, an anonymous caller tells Fry's guy to be careful what he's dipping around in. The man w who he meets with later in the trailer says that Big Fry's, referring to companies, have been riding the ketchup train for over 30 years. And then ends with that Fry's guy has made someone very salty. His wife says that Nacho Fries are consuming him, which this one is less noticeable than the others, but is still pretty good. And then the last pun happens when his co-worker says that he is in some hot oil. The puns help display the self-aware style of the commercial, as well as pushing the purpose further into the viewer's brain. Taco Bell's Web of Fries is a great adaptation of the action trailer, intelligently built off the product that they want to sell. The commercial is a nice balance of overly serious and comical, and it doesn't feel like a waste of time like most other ads. There were some interesting shots, my favorites being the special agent talk, the dress shirt scene, and the clown at the carnival. Taco Bell really put a lot of effort into this specific product, and it shows with what they have given us. I wish more companies would try out this formula, rather than wasting our time with the same type of ad every time. I'd watch this movie if it actually came out, but until a company does something as daring as that, we'll just have to wait. Well guys, that's gonna do it for the video. If you have enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm hoping to review the next two Taco Bell commercials like this, and maybe even the fourth, because they did not slow down after one masterpiece. I want to talk about more random stuff like this, so hopefully this video can do better than I've been doing currently. Until the next video, see you guys next time.